like a like person in Spanish. <laughs> the only thing I have is side inspection, please, and no bed because I threw it out. <laughs> my catering's my lingo. It's a new day. Good morning. It's Jules. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Give us a haul. Cute. Yeehaw. You only have oh, large. Large. Large and 2XL. They don't have any Show. mediums. Let okay. Nice minty green. Saint Og. Mint green. Saint Og. And then back. a big anchor in the back. Nice. Cute. How much on? was that? 17. 21. Okay. Cute. Get her light. You wanted the red. I didn't want to give you all the sugar. Well, what kind of bad sugar does it have to make it light? Why is it in Spanish? <laughs> It's a Spaniel! In Spanish? And then I got this. Why? You want this it's one? It's in Spanish. No. So caduce. It's in English and in Spanish. I've never it's seen bilingual. that. <laughs> My Gatorade's bilingual. Your Gatorade speaks Spanish! So there's a Starbies right there, babe. I know, right? A block away from our house. Watermelon. Yeah, I know. From I our see. house. He's already saying our house. 10 out of 10, don't recommend getting watermelon. It tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Oh, I love Jolly Rancher. Oh, taste it. I like it. the cherry. You'll like this. Wait, let me up this one first. Walk right? away from our house. Can we stop getting plastic bags? Let's pretend we're back in Jersey. There's a lot of plastic bags. We, because we've gone to Jersey and like lived in Jersey and we see the no plastic bag Jersey law. We're overwhelmed. Seeing all of this in Florida is mm -hmm. like, it's crazy. It's not that crazy. You get one shirt and you put it in a plastic bag and you get two bottles, you put in another plastic they don't bag. Let's go past bag. my house. Okay. Let's go. Tell them. We might be buying a house. Guys, we are, we picked out a house. Um, don't let it fly. And uh, it's something that we want. And so right now, once we get the go ahead, we're gonna put a, uh, an offer on it. And um, oh, we just pray right now that, because uh, uh, we know God's good and God's blessing is upon us every single day, every single day. And so um, God says that he'll give you whatever is in, within your heart and more, more than we could ever think of. So, uh, and I believe that, I, I mean, because he has, I, and I completely believe that. So I got the visceral feeling about this place. It's nothing fancy. It's That's just, it's nice, um, but it's in the right location. And um, right now, I just pray right now that uh, for knowledge, so that we can uh, learn about uh, whatever we need to know about buying this home. And I pray for the Holy Spirit to give us the words to uh, take the right steps. And I pray for uh, the angels to be with us right now to gu guide us and to guard us from any type of uh, omen or any type of negativity, any type of evil, satanic attack on us right now while we uh, uh, get involved with this while we get involved with this uh, uh, this offer and um, we pray that um, this does come to fruition and we ask this in Jesus name I pray amen amen and while we're here we also pray that uh, that Julie that's that girl right over there uh, that Julie also finds her happiness and uh, and and we know that she's going to be safe but we pray that she finds her happiness in her new place. And um, we just pray that everything will work out just exactly the way that she wants it to work out. We ask this in Jesus' name. And we also ask that, that the angels also guard her. And camp and, around and, Pardon me? And camp around her. And camp around her. Create a hedge of protection around her. And stop and prevent any type of uh, evil attack, satanic attack, that might be trying to make their way upon her. And we ask this again in Jesus' name we pray and we truly believe uh, in the word of God. Amen. Amen. Grab it. Just for fun, my family went to Fort Pierce because we wanted to go down south a little bit and just explore. We toured these homes that were so stunning. They were in a 50s plus community, which I don't know if my parents were really interested in. It's obviously a really nice concept because they have people that are their age and they have really nice amenities. The homes were stunning. The pools were great. The lake was great. Everything was amazing. And this isn't an older community. It's so well known. I forget what it's called. It's like the castle or like, so I don't know. And it was really, really pretty. So we just took videos of this as inspiration because he didn't put an offer in on these places, but he actually did put an offer on a house that I toured the next day. My parents and I toured this one house, obviously that we were looking at when we were in the car. And then the next day they left, I went to go and tour a different house and I didn't film it, but that one is actually in the work. So stay tuned for a St. Augustine Beach House tour.
I still have to do my apartment tour, but my parents are moving 15 minutes down the road from me. How stinking exciting is that? Look at her. I'll get one when I have a house. Speakers outside. Please buy one for me. Speakers outside. Let's feel the water. That's nice. <laughs> this goes all the way through. Oh, my shower. But the shower should be a rain. That's it should true. be on both sides. Whoa. Oh. And the laundry this, room? This looks much bigger. Oh, this is so smart. Oh, Julie, look, this you can so do smart. this. With this little roll of straps. Someone took a hat. Very cute. Oh, Michael's. This is what I got Oh, this is the office. <gasps> look at the pool. It has a hot tub. Is the eating kitchen? Maybe, maybe, that's, a, maybe that's a dining room. There's no room. dining table. But maybe that space is a dining room. No, this is where you guys wait to when the butler says you no. have guests. No. <laughs> Whoa, the shower! Wow! You turn it on here! <laughs> shower and there. there. It's huge. I would run into this because I'm so dumb. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the laundry room. It connects. Good morning. It is 12.20. It's not the morning anymore. I went to go look at a house. My parents, well, I went to go look at a house my parents want to buy. Now, I don't know what to do. This is my only day that I've ever been alone, and it's like two days after finding out news that I just didn't want to hear. So I'm an emotional wreck, but like, I'm not gonna lie, my hair is kind of like really cute, you know, my outfit's kind of like really cute, so it's kind of putting me in a good mood. You have to wear a cute outfit to get through the rough time. You have to make yourself look cute because you can't just sit in your room all day in sweatpants and sweatshirt and try to feel better about yourself. Um, last night I went out with my friends. They went out drinking. I went out at the Silver Sally. That was different. I've never gone out with people. I've never gone out with people and been sober. Like I've never gone out and not had a sip of alcohol. Obviously, when I was underage, I didn't drink. But like, I mean, I did. But like, I didn't go out and party. Only when I turned 21, I went out and like to bars and stuff like that because I never had a fake ID. But I went out and I didn't drink because I haven't been drinking since the end of May. And. It was still fun. It was still a good time. And I had a fun time. I got home at like 12 and then I slept on my air mattress because my <laughs> update my room. My apartment is infested with fleas. So I have to go get a box spring from my garage unit. My mattress is coming in on Tuesday. So I've been sleeping on the air mattress. So I'm gonna put the air mattress on the box spring in my in my living in my bedroom because I might as well just sleep in the bedroom, even if the fleas, because regardless, I'm getting flea bites in the living room. I might as well just sleep in the bedroom. Make it seem like I'm not just like temporarily here. I'm actually living here, which I am. Yeah, my apartment's the best way, please. <laughs> I'll show you my bug bites. Do you see that? Insanity. I have texted just about everyone that I know today to ask to hang out, and uh, no one wants to hang out today. It's a Saturday, so you know, I need these girls to get their shiz together. I'm walking in circles, but I need them to get their shiz together so that we can hang out on the weekends because. I'm gonna have to stop hanging out during the weekdays because I'm not getting any work done. No, I'm kidding. I'm getting work done, but I need to hang out on the weekends because I'm bored. I am gonna make a veggie burger and then I'm gonna go to the beach a lot. I've been eating these Beyond Burgers and then I'm gonna put some monster cheese on it. It's my pack a bag with guac and chips to go to the beach because I have so much guac that I, over I went over to my friend's house and I gave him like half of my guac because they have three guys living in that house and I'm just one person. I really can't eat that much guac. Like I don't even like guac that much, especially from Costco. It's like, mm, it's like whatever. But we're gonna make a burger and then we're gonna go to the beach. I would love to go to the beach with like friends and see if someone will come with me, but I just don't think that anyone's gonna wanna come. Everyone's like hungover from last night and the perks of not drinking is I'm not hungover, I'm not sick. I might have a sinus infection, but that's kind of it. The only thing I have is side inspection, fleas, and no bed because I threw it out. We're going to wait to get a text back from anyone and everyone. I've texted like a few people to ask to hang out. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I can't get this out. Ah, there's a flea on my foot. I got a text, a pest guy. Just when I thought that the fleas were kind of gone and subsiding, they're still here. Hello. So, it was getting foggy.
So I am all back from the beach. I went to the beach because I was just like not having it. I put myself into a downward spiral and I shouldn't have done that. So either I'm dramatic or I'm a realist regardless of what it is. I put myself in a downward spiral and it was really bad. I was just crying on the couch. I mean like it's fine. It wasn't that bad. Um, so I'm getting ready. Kind of getting ready because like I'm supposed to get ready with my friend. She's coming over. I'm gonna have my first slumber party in my apartment now that I don't have fleas infested everywhere. This is your note if you go to Florida. Always, always shower before you get home if you're going in the water. Like shower at the outdoor shower areas or shower right when you get home and wash your hair and make sure that you don't have any bugs and wash your towels. Because I believe that is what got the fleas all over my apartment was the towels and my hair. I washed it, I just did not, no I actually didn't wash it. I showered, I just didn't wash my hair that one day. I went out with a certain group of people at a different beach I've never gone to in Puerto Vedra. And I don't really plan on going to that beach again, but I did have fleas at the beach I was at today. I don't know, is it the season of fleas? Regardless of what it is, I texted this girl that I have known on Instagram for a while. We were supposed to hang out back in June, it just didn't end up happening. And I texted her, I was like, wanna come over? And I was like, we can go out, like it's Saturday night and she doesn't wanna go out, like out, out. Like I was out last night, she was too. So we don't really wanna go out again, but we're gonna go to Top Golf and all you can eat is sushi. Top Golf is like 40 minutes away. It's really not bad because I'm used to driving like 30 minutes to get to anywhere, living in Pennsylvania and yeah, I, I moved from Jersey to Pennsylvania. I just don't like telling people that because I don't want people to know where I live. But I don't live there anymore, so it's fine. And I don't plan on living there again. So in Pennsylvania, everything's 30 minutes away. So I'm so used to it. So like a 40 minute car ride for Topgolf is so fine. And all you can eat sushi. It's such a cheap place. It's so affordable. It's so good. I went there with some family friends before and it was so delicious. I was just like super nervous that day to eat. I was meeting my boyfriend's dad for the first time. I was nervous. I didn't eat. And it's an all you can eat. So... I think he knew I liked sushi. I think that my boyfriend at the time told him I like sushi and he brought us to a sushi place and I didn't eat because I was so nervous. But I just put this in my hair, Sol de Janeiro leave-in conditioner and this Balia oil repair. It makes my hair super soft and it smells delicious. It will last for days. Like it will smell so delicious for days and it'll be super soft. You just have to wash it. I mean brush it. I'm gonna do my makeup when she gets here and I'm just gonna clean up my apartment, eat a little snack before she gets here because we're gonna go out and eat and go to Top Golf, but I'm excited. I'm meeting new people and I have not spent a day alone living alone. Crazy, but I'm like surrounding myself with so many people that I just don't typically do when I'm up north. So I'm loving every second of this. I just have to make sure I manage my work and get it done on time. But I'll update you either when we get to Top Golf or who knows. <laughs> I needed to preface these two clips don't make any sense. We went to an all-you-can-eat sushi bar. Renee did not know how to use chopsticks. So the way she was doing it was the funniest thing ever because it was falling off her chopstick every two seconds. But she was learning and she made progress. Then she got full. Whatever you don't eat, you pay for. So we got her chicken fried rice, stuck it in a little soy sauce bowl, and put it in her fanny pack. We went to Top Golf after with the chicken fried rice in the fanny pack. It was the funniest thing ever because we we're like, we're not paying for this. We are not paying for the chicken fried rice that she did not eat. Because you pay per meal, I think it was like $19 per meal. So cheap. And we're like, we're not paying for this chicken fried rice that she didn't finish. So we stuck it in the fanny pack. Okay? That's that's the last clip. Now play it again. Now you're gonna laugh at us. It's so funny. <laughs> Today we're gonna do like a day in the life. It might even be a week in the life because I don't actually have anything planned for today other than getting more flea fumigation because I have fleas in my apartment, fun fact. I'm making some breakfast. Every morning I wake up and I make a protein shake and then I have a little bit of coffee and I have water. I have lemon water today because I have lemons and I didn't want them to go bad. My mom bought them for her like cocktail but she make one. So I just have lemons and limes. 
So we're gonna just have lemon water all throughout the day because it's good for you. I'm making eggs right now, so we're gonna do that, eat that, and then I'm gonna continue with my laptop work, taking like a two second break while something is uploading, and then I'm gonna probably keep working in here until the pest guy comes because when he comes, I can't sit in here for three hours. So when he comes, I'll go to the pool, I'll go to the gym, and then I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and do more work at a coffee shop. But for now, we're gonna just be doing this and then I have to take my OF content for the month. I haven't taken it in so long and a few of my videos on TikTok did really well. So there's a few more people, but I also wanna just provide more content because that's my job. I'm gonna take OF content, make some breakfast and then fumigate at my apartment and maybe go to the beach for like a beach sunset with a few girlies because I made some new friends. And yesterday I made a new friend and we had the best time ever. Clicked so well, we're actually twins born on the same day. We have the eggs, they're being made. Fun fact, in Florida, everyone has the AC blasting, so you wear sweatshirts and long pants inside because it's that cold inside. I'm from Jersey, so I'm like used to the cold, but at the same time, I'm not used to having AC on all the time because my dad never put the AC on. So, let's get back to you when we're doing something a little more fun, but I just want to introduce the vlog to today's activities. And yeah, I got a little bit of color yesterday. I'm a little bit tan, I love it. 